Paul. Just how have you seen the back end, the secondary develop through these first few weeks of preseason camp? Um, I feel like we've taken like a lot of steps tremendously, like forward. Um, John Dixon, Cam Smith, like young guys, they really doing their part, playing their part in the defense. Um, me and Jamie, um, in the back end, I really feel confident having Jamie play beside me, and of course having Israel and JC outside. So I feel like we're taking a good amount of steps. How much do you think that you know playing so much last year helped you and Jamie really become uh, better players? Um, I just just the reps, the experience, like whether it be mental reps, whether it be we be out there on um, just kind of playing both sides. So I he'll play my position, I'll play his position, and. Then, Rotating around the defense, him playing nickel, me playing dime, just having more experience and bringing that to the safety position when we're in regular defense. So. Ben? RJ, I uh, hope camp's treating you well. Uh, what what kind of stuff, what have been sort of the focuses of you trying to improve your game through this offseason? What have been kind of the areas you've been trying to, to, to aim to shore up? Um, of course, getting in better shape with the whole quarantine and being home. So being in tip top shape, being in the best shape, that's definitely a priority. But as well as just the mental reps, like I was saying, and being sharp as far as making checks, making play calls. And um, yeah, that's really just a big thing for me. My feet, playing with pad level, like always bending, bending more. Cause much champ, he always get on me about that. So yeah, that's that. Kellen? No, I guess a lot of guys have come in from the defense side of the ball and they have the potential of this year's group, I guess, from your perspective, how good when this defense is playing at its its potential, how good can it be? The championship defense, I feel like when we're playing at our best, like when everybody is hitting, everybody's on one accord, I feel like it's a championship level defense. Go back to Ben. Uh, what was the experience of going through last year like as uh, your first season as a starter? What were some of the lessons you took and, and some of sort of the ups and downs like? Um, just always having that play the next, like the play the next play mentality. Cause I mean, being young is mistakes going to be made. Like sometimes I had some buzz, missed tackles, but just staying composed and like being able to move on and play that next play was a big focus for me. So I feel like this year I, I should be able to put everything together and be able to showcase that. So. How, how hard is that to kind of learn to, to get used to saying, you know, put that play behind you, turn to the next really quickly. I just feel like the, as the more you play, the more you experience, and like just the more you play football in itself, like it's a game. So sometimes the man in front of you will get the best of you, just like you'll get the best of him. So um, just coming to realize that, and then playing some, like keep going, keep playing. Hell, yeah. RJ, how much more comfortable are you now as opposed to last year or even the year before that, when you're just learning the position and, and getting used to playing on? on that side of the ball the time. Uh, I'm very comfortable. Like I like like I really love like playing safety. I love being on defense. Uh, I love rotating around, whether it be me playing nickel, me playing Dom. Um I just really grown into it. And so just learning more stuff now, like enhancing like things that I know, like whether it be the front stunts, like anything like that, anything that I could learn more to gain, like I'll do that. Is there a, like a specific Thing that you can think back to, like a moment or like a teaching point from one of the coaches, where where you really felt like things were starting to, to click and make sense for you. Um, I feel like more like more so my freshman year towards like when I um started to start towards the end of the season, um just that the install those weekly installs and I would come in and meet more just to kind of like things would click for me like they would talk to you about grouping like certain two highs, certain single highs like. When you're able to group defensive coverages and stuff like that, it makes it it makes it a lot more easier for you. And Steve, I'm sorry, I got one more. You mentioned earlier playing playing beside Jamie um, and how it's real comfortable with him. What what makes it so comfortable playing next to Jamie? It's because I know I got it's somebody else that's like looking to hit somebody just like me. Like it's somebody I know he's gonna fly around. I know he's gonna set the edge. I know he's gonna dent a block. Like. I know he's going to do what he needs to do, and it's going to make my job easier. Like, we'll, it's always it's good to play with him back there because we make it easier on each other. David? RJ, um, I'm sure that you guys, you know, have your own testing protocols and all that, but you, do you, is it easy to tune out the news from other schools? I think Tennessee's had maybe 44 guys out the past week or so. I mean, how do you guys uh, approach hearing about other teams and what they're dealing with with COVID? Um, that just, it just motivates us more to stay safe and keep following the things that we are doing 
but I mean, as well, we also have friends that go to these universities and stuff. So just keeping them in our thoughts and our prayers and stuff like that as well. But no, nah, I mean, I don't, I know we're, we're very safe in here. It's a very safe atmosphere. So I'm not really concerned with that. Ben? RJ, you, you mentioned playing some dime and, and some nickel. How much are you kind of uh, getting a little work at those spots compared to your primary safety spot? Um, when we're in regular defense, I start at safety, and then um, when we go to dime, I play dime. But any, regardless, when we're in nickel defense, Jamie plays nickel. Um, sometimes I rotate and play in, but majority I play safety and dime right now. And um, yeah, whenever we go into our dime defense or third down package or whatever, I slide and I play dime. Colin? It, I guess I kind of want to follow up on that, RJ. I guess when you do slide down and dime, what are they kind of asking you to do um, in that role? I guess, are they asking you to blitz more, play in the box more, and, and kind of explain that to me. And who's the hardest hitter in the secondary if you had to put a number on? Uh, when I go down and play Dom, or I play just man coverage. Like, they treat me like just like another DB. Like, sometimes if they run a hurry up in this first down offense, then I'll stay in the box, and he's still I still know my assignments. But for the most part, just carrying vertical routes, reading the front shoulder of the quarterback, just things like that. And, um, I don't know. I feel like either it would be me or Jamie, man. In the backfield is the hardest hitters, man. I can't put him down because my dad would be out there, too. He out, he out there. He's for real. Ben? Uh, beyond you and Jamie, what has the mix kind of been like at safety? What's the mix uh, with, with the guys behind you? Um, so right now, like, we got Shiloh. Shiloh's definitely learning. Shiloh's coming. He's definitely taking some steps as well. And then uh, we got Jalen Foster. Jalen Foster is a toolbox guy like he'll do everything for you and then he's a real quiet about it very humble and then um beside that i mean we also we got some guys some young guys that slide in but really right now shallow gets in our rotation whenever we go t into our nickel um defense and he'll start and i'll play beside him um in safe at safety john del bianco hey Ardre. Coach Muschamp has been critical of the safety play over the last couple of seasons, Nate, saying that group needs to be more consistent. How much pressure do you put on yourself to be that guy that he can rely on? Um, I, that, that's thing. That's something that I think about like all the time. Just consistency. That's one thing that they talk about me all the time is consistency. So, just making that a habit, like making hustle a habit, being more consistent in things that I do. That's one of the things that I really feel like I need to work on the most at this point in my career. All right. Thank you, RJ. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.